Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ABC that consists of bunch of uh, triangles, uh, including uh, this purple uh, and uh, green uh, triangle as well. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, such that uh, the area of this uh, triangle is 35 uh, square units. The area of this triangle is uh, 40 square units. The area of this uh, triangle is uh, 56. And finally, the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 84 square units. And moreover, all uh, these uh, angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, triangle and the area of this uh, green uh, triangle uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept uh, review. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base uh, times the height. And here's our next concept. Triangles with the same uh, height will have areas whose uh, ratio is the same as the ratio of their bases, as you can see in this given uh, diagram. And here we have these uh, two triangles, this uh, red triangle and the blue triangle. The height uh, of both of these uh, triangle is uh, same. The base of this uh, red triangle is uh, X, whereas the base of this uh, blue triangle is Y. Then we can say that the ratio of their areas is going to be equal to the ratio of their bases. And here's our next step. Let's uh, compare these two right triangles. Uh, this uh, triangle uh, AEP and this uh, other triangle uh, BEP. And we can see the height of both of this uh, triangle is same. So therefore, uh, the ratio of their uh, bases uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of their uh, corresponding areas. So I can write uh, 84 uh, the ratio 56. And if I divide uh, both of these uh, numbers by 28, then we are going to get uh, this one, uh, 3 ratio 2. So therefore, uh, their ratio of these uh, sides is going to be, if this side is uh, 3 times some constant k, then this side is going to be 2 times some constant uh, k as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, the area of this uh, purple triangle as uh, x and the area of this uh, green triangle uh, as y square units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEC as you can see over here. And the area of this uh, whole triangle uh, AEC is going to be the sum of all these uh, three individual uh, areas. So let's, let me go ahead and add these numbers. So AEC triangle area is going to be 35 plus uh, X plus uh, 84. And if we add uh, these uh, like terms, that's going to give us 119 plus uh, X. So that's the area of this uh, whole uh, big uh, right triangle AEC turns out to be 119 plus X. And now we are going to focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, BEC, this whole uh, big uh, right triangle. And the total area in this uh, big right triangle is going to be Y plus uh, 40 plus uh, 56. So therefore I can write uh, this uh, BEC triangle area is going to be Y plus uh, 40 plus uh, 56. If we combine the like terms, that is going to give us uh, y plus uh, 96. And now let's make an observation. We can see for this uh, triangle uh, AEC, its uh, corresponding uh, base uh, is uh, 3k. And for this uh, other triangle uh, BEC, 
is corresponding uh, base is uh, 2k and both of these uh, triangles uh, have the same uh, height so therefore we can say that the ratio of their areas uh, is uh, going to be equal to the ratio of their bases so therefore uh, their ratio is going to be 119 plus uh, x uh, divided by y plus uh, 56 uh, is going to be equal to the ratio of the bases 3k and uh, 2k and here we can see this k and k cancel each other out as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross uh, multiply and now i am going to subtract 238 from both sides this is gone so therefore 2x is going to be equal to 3y plus uh, 50 and now i am going to divide both sides uh, by 2 across uh, the board and we can see our this on the left hand side x is going to be equal to 3y divided by 2 plus uh, 25 and i'm going to label this our equation uh, number one and now let's focus on this uh, big uh, triangle uh, abp that consists of these uh, two right triangles this triangle and this uh, triangle and also focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, bfp the total area of this uh, big triangle is going to be 84 plus 56 and if we add uh, these uh, two numbers that is going to give us uh, 140 and the area of this uh, triangle is uh, 40 therefore uh, the ratio of their uh, area is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, their corresponding uh, basis and now their uh, area ratio is going to be 140 ratio 40 and now we are going to divide both numbers uh, by uh, 20 and if we divide uh, this one that is going to give us uh, the ratio of uh, 7 to 2 so therefore the ratio of their uh, bases is going to be 7 times some constant t and this is going to be 2 times some constant uh, t as well and now let's focus uh, on this uh, big triangle uh, apc and this other triangle uh, fpc the area of this uh, triangle uh, APC is going to be some of these uh, two areas. So that is going to be X uh, plus uh, 35. And the area of this uh, other triangle uh, FPC is going to be Y. And their corresponding uh, bases are uh, 70 and uh, 2T. Therefore, we can write the ratio of uh, their areas, uh, which is... Uh, x plus 35 divided by y is going to be equal to 7 times t divided by 2 times t and here we can see t and t is gone as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross multiply and now we are going to move this 70 on the other side so therefore we are going to have 2x equal to 7 times y minus uh, 70 and now i am going to divide uh, both sides by 2 across uh, the board and here we can see that x is going to be equal to 7y divided by 2 minus uh, 35 i'm going to label this one as our equation number 2 so therefore we are ended up with these uh, two equations one and two and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations we can see the left hand sides are identical so therefore we can uh, equate uh, the right hand sides as well as you can see in this uh, next step i have equated uh, these uh, right hand sides and now i'm going to move uh, this uh, 3 y divided by 2 on the other side and i'm going to move this uh, 35 in the opposite uh, direction as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's focus uh, on this uh, left hand side and here i have copied it down 
And if we simplify these two fractions that ended up with uh, 2 times y. So therefore if we simplify these left hand side that is going to give us uh, 2y equals to if we add these two numbers that is going to give us uh, 60. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore we can see that our uh, y value turns out to be 30 square units. And we know our y is the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. So thus our green area turns out to be 30. Now we are going to substitute this y equals to 30 value in this uh, equation 1. And here's our equation 1. Now I am going to substitute this uh, y by 30 value. As you can see in this uh, next step I have uh, replaced y by its uh, value 30. And if we simplify everything our x value turns out to be 70. And we know our x uh, represents the purple triangle uh, area. So thus our purple triangle area turns out to be 70. So thus our purple area turns out to be 70 and the green area is uh, 30. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.